So today we are going to be learning how to deploy or front an application to Netlify for free. So Netlify is this platform that allows you to deploy and build front end code really easily. So let's take a look at how this is done. So the way this works is that you have to have your code checked in any Git based workflow like GitHub, Bitbucket or GitLab. So you have your code there and then once you made your commit, you're going to build your application based in your build command and this will be trigger a new a new deploy of your site in that moment and when, once that that's done the next thing that's going to happen is that your your site your static assets will be served in a CDN and that's that's served globally and you also have another features that Netlify provides like serverless functions and forms so it's, it's really simple how you can make changes to your repositories and one thing to consider is that the, the main focus of Netlify is to work with front-end code with static files so you don't you you cannot have for example a server-side language besides the serverless functions that they provide and you cannot also have any database so this is mainly for for the front end and it's just used in the jam stack and the great thing about Netlify is that we have a, a free plan that we don't have to pay anything for hosting or static files and for the free plan we can have one team member basically only us and we can on, we can have only one one build at the same time so we don't but we you can have any projects you want but you you can only run one build at the same time so what you want to do is you want to sign up for for netlify if you don't have an, an account yet and you can choose if, if i would recommend you that you link any of your current github or gitlab or bitbucket accounts you can also use your email there's no problem for that and i'm not going to do this because i already i have already signed up for the for this service i'm going to log in and i already have some sites here but what you want to do is you want to click this button that allows you to add a new site and here you want to choose your provider so before going any further let's take a look at what we are going to be deploying so I already have this this project that, that is is mainly a Svelte to do app, and I will share the ba the video where we build this application and also the the repository. But it's mainly a, a Svelte application that was made with the with the boilerplate that Svelte provides. So we have rollup configured, and we have some 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 scripts so we have the build script the dev script and the start script for development and let's take a look at what we have here so let me go run npm run dev and this is the application that we are going to be building so it's just a to-do list and we can add new to-dos and we can mark them as clear as complete and we can also remove the tools so this is the application and and i already have this in a repository so what i'm going to do this is in github i'm going to choose github you will first need to authorize netlify to access your repositories once you do that you are going to have this kind of configuration where you can choose which which features it has which permissions has Netlify and which repositories you are going to allow access. So you can choose all the repositories or in this case we are going to specify uh, some, some only, only, only the ones that we choose. So I'm going to choose this repository where I have the to-do app and once I select that, that repository I'm going to save save this configuration and now we have the repository here so once we have that i'm going to click here and here we have to choose some settings so first we need to choose this, the branch that we are going to deploy if we have a lot of branch we want to specify which one we you want to deploy so in this case 
I'm going to close this for now. We can see that we only have the master branch for our project. So I'm going to choose the master branch, that's by default. The next thing is that we have to choose the build command and the publish repository. So if we go back to our application, we can see that we have the build. The build command is the one that we the one that we want to, to, to choose. And the public folder, we can take a look here in the rollup configuration. And we can see that the, so the output of our, of our application is in the public di directory. And if we see here, we have the build and we also have the index HTML. So this is the, the repository, the folder that we want to specify there. So now that we know that, we can say that the build command is going to be npm run build. So we have to specify it which all the command that we want to to trigger and then the folder is going to be the public folder N once we have that we can just simply click here and the site will be start deploying if we if we go back here to the deploy stack and we can see which build is being triggered and here are all the steps that are, that are happening to deploy our site so we can see that what it, it did was to install all the dependencies and then run the build command and here is the bundle that was created and now we can see that this process has been has been completed so we let's go back here and you can see that we have an, a name by, by default and we have an url by, by default so if i click here so you can see that we have our application live and we have all of our features so the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a custom domain for this application because I don't want to, I don't want to have this this URL. So I can do this by going to the to the overview domain settings, and here we can add a custom domain. So I already set up my personal domain to Netlify, and if you if you want to do this, you might have to to point your domain to the the Netlify servers. But basically, you just once you do that, you have to add the domain that you want to add. So, what what this domain, this domain is called is called to do, to do svelte Stevan that site. So this is the custom domain that I set up with Netlify, and because I already have it, I can add it to the domain, and you can see that now it it is it has the it has the custom domain. The next thing that I want to do is I want to force HTTPS. For me, it's not going to take that long because I already configured this in this in this site, but it might take up to 48 hours to propagate. So I'm just going to force the this HTTPS. And now if I go back here, I can see that the site is working in my custom domain. So that's how you can you can add custom domains for your application and the cool thing uh, thing about this is that you can just commit your changes and the changes will be reflected right away so you don't have to do anything else so let's check that and if i want to make a change let's say to this to this button so i will change the text of this button is going to have a uh, exclamation mark so now has it has an exclamation mark two exclamation marks <laughs> and I'm going to commit this with com commit I am so I am adding and writing the message it's going to say update uh, that's spelled this is my, my commit name and now I can push this to, to my master branch push origin master this is going to be pushed to github and because I have this configuration now if we go back here you can see that this is building because it detects the change and is re rebuilding the site with this latest changes and this will also refresh the cache that they have it will invalidate the cache from the CDN and if we refresh our site okay so that's what I wanted to share with you guys thank you so much for watching 
and please subscribe to the channel so we can have more content about the spell and other JavaScript frameworks.